Yo! What's up, YouTube world? Today's video is about downsizing and getting rid of shoes. Preferably a lot of shoes. So we decided, to, well, okay. I guess, yeah, I can say that we decided, we decided yeah. to go through shoes that we own. Uh, Majori Reza owns. Because he has a lot more than I do, believe yes. it or not. Got a lot of shoes, but got to get rid of them. Yes, we have to get rid of some uh, for a few reasons. First of all, a lot of these shoes haven't been touched in over a year, some over two some years. Over two years. <laughs> so there is no need to have something that is not being used because exactly. we don't have space for it. Even if we do have space for it, we don't like clutter. Second of all, we're moving, so we try to also make our life easier as far as moving, packing, unpacking, and all exactly. unnecessary stuff. One thing I hate about when I move, I move and I like unveil all, reveal all these things that I haven't seen in forever. I'm like, oh, okay, wow, I still have this. And then you take that object or whatever it is, and then you move it to your next place, and then it sits for another three or Do four years. Do the same years. thing until you move again. So we are trying to prevent that, and we're trying to be proactive, and we're trying to get rid of all the things that we're not going to use. So, that being said, number one thing that we can start off with is shoes because I got way too many shoes, like more shoes than any He human probably being has like me. five times more shoes than I do, you guys. Yeah. It's hard to believe. I know girls usually have a tendency of hoard shoes a lot more, but not in this case. Yeah. I'm definitely the shoe hoarder. And uh, yeah, so our goal is to get rid of at least 20 pairs of shoes and um, collectively. And I have selected my 12 pair of shoes that I'm going to get rid of. And we're about to go through these shoes really fast and show y'all and tell y'all why I'm getting rid of these shoes. Where do I begin? Let's start over here with these canvas H&M shoes that I copped. I was at a family reunion. I needed them. I had to have something to go to the beach in that I could like, you know, do beach stuff with. So I got those. I don't even know what shoes I wore on that trip, but whatever I had wasn't going to work We had like a flip-flops and sandals on and we happened to be by the family reunion spot oh, where it was a formal thing. everybody would yeah. dress up in like gowns and stuff and we literally wear in like beach clothes beach clothes <laughs> so that was an emergency that's why purchase. i got those i forget that's exactly what happened yeah so i had to get those but never won them since so now they gotta go uh then i guess we can go over to those over there oh i love these yeah, so I, these were custom-made Nike ID Converse. Uh, I loved them when I made them, but then I got them, and I just was never really feeling them. But I don't know. I just always felt like I was like working in some type of food service industry when I put these shoes on. I don't know why, because I've never worked in food service. So See, I like these. The leather is so nice on these, and I think they look so nice. When you put everything black and you put these on, they look very, very, very nice. I must agree. Leather is beautiful, yeah. even like all the way around. But I don't ever wear them, and I've had them for a few years now. Never wear them. Gotta go. And then I can talk about this section of shoes right here. These, to the keen eye, are all... Nike Internationalist. I have the mid, I have the low top, and then I got the leather joints. And I went through a phase where I was all about the Nike Internationalist, and then I was just like, one day I just decided, it just, it just collapsed like a house of cards. I was just like, you know what? I'm not really feeling these Nike Internationalist anymore. So I stopped wearing them, and they sat, and they sat, and they sat, and then they sat some more. And then I realized, you know what? Gotta go. Boom. So these were also custom made. Mm -hmm. I have a pair of these. Um, pretty much exactly the same except my shoelaces are like neon green and I love them but they are very hot. Like, I only can wear them in winter. I can't wear these in summer. Super comfortable shoes. Mm -hmm. These these came from a thrift store, didn't they? Yep. Got them in the thrift store. Yeah, What's that, that thrift was... store song? I was in the thrift store doing stuff. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway. And these were worn on our first date, you guys. First day. How cute. Yes, so cute. Okay, so since we're working on. our way this way, um, I guess I'll talk about these Adidas right here. These Adidas are really comfortable and super easy to clean. And I actually really like the color a lot, and I'm actually about to regret getting rid of them. I was very surprised how easy they are to clean because this piece right here is kind of, it's fabric, but it's, I don't know what type of fabric it is. It's not suede, but it's like fake suede. But they clean out pretty good. They look nice when you put them on, but I'm not crazy about these. Like, they I'm not, cool, yeah, but I'm not they, crazy about them, but I don't really wear them. But I don't since, think they're anything Since we're supposed to be doing 10 and 10, I might be able to take two pair of shoes back. So that might be one of the pair of shoes that I might renege on. Uh, no, we're not doing 10 and 10. You know why? 
I said that in the beginning of the video. He has like five times more shoes <laughs> than I do. So there is no 10 and 10, baby. There's not? No. Okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I might sneak these off some kind of way, smoke them out of the pal. Uh, so anyway, moving on, that brings us to these right here. All right, we'll talk about these right here real quick. This is the Vans Half Cab or something really like that. Really soft leather, really good shoe, really durable. I just kind of like, I don't know, I got them when everybody was doing the Vans thing, but I was like, yo, I want something different. I want leathers. So I got the leather ones. And I rocked them a lot, but now I just don't wear them anymore. And I, I like my low-top Vans a lot better. And these are actually kind of hot, too, like, now that you mentioned oh, that. Are? Yeah, kind of similar to what she was saying about these. Oh, I don't own a pair of le the leather Vans shoes. I only have the fabric ones. Yeah. The slide-ons and then the low-tops and the high-tops. Yeah. Like, everything is fabric. They're cool, but I'm just not in that phase anymore in my life. Mm -hmm. I've moved on. So, m moving on, <laughs> we shall talk about these Doc Martens. And these Doc Martens right here, I love awesome, these. awesome shoe. Really comfortable, really these. durable. Honestly, for traveling, this is like an epic shoe. It's lightweight. It's really easy to get on and off. Well, not really easy to get off, but pretty easy to get very on and off for TSA lines and stuff like that. Um, it's very water resistant. Mm -hmm. So it can take a decent amount of rain without yes. your foot getting like completely soaked. Um, it's super durable. Like the last couple of years I wore these shoes, I, I, was, I was mostly wearing these strictly to work. And I mean, I was around very sharp objects and sharp uh, equipment. If anybody you know works in rack rooms and stuff like that, and computers, you know that you know when you take computers and stuff apart, you leave them laying around. There's lots of sharp parts actually inside of those crappy little <laughs> machines. But uh, yeah, so these serve me well, but I don't wear them anymore because I've moved on to my other Doc Martens. I have two new pair of Doc Martens I absolutely mm -hmm. adore, and yeah, they're like so cool. It's the yeah, nine two zero eight, I believe, is what. The one that I'm really rocking the most nowadays, and I love those. They're really the class, the classic Doc Martin for anybody yeah. that's wondering what it is. And yeah, so moving on, we'll talk about dress shoes. I went through a phase when I thought I was going to start dressing up more for work. That never happened. So because that never happened, yeah. these got to go. Um, I love these shoes, though. They're classic. You can dress them up, dress them down. I mean, it's a Chelsea boot, which I mean, I actually might swap out the my suede ones and keep the suede ones and get rid of the suede ones and keep these because this might be a little bit more versatile. See, I feel like if he's going to pick one pair of shoes that off of this whole pile and keep, these should be the ones. She not, actually has a very good not point. Not these. Because this is classic shoe. It's always going to stay classic. You're probably never going to kill these because you're not wearing them that often. They nice leather shoe and they always, always, always going to be in style no matter what. So I think these would be smart to keep. But those, I think they got to go. Yeah. I think she has a good point. And I guess that brings us to the last shoe. The last but not the least. So these were my... Uh, now there's two more after this. There's two more? Mm -hmm. What's the other two? There's these. Oh, yeah, that's right. And there's your trail running shoes. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. This is not the last shoe. So anyway. Getting old is not big. <laughs> it really isn't. So this is a Nike feel boot. And... Um, no, I didn't just buy these because I thought these were like really fashionable. I bought them because I actually served in the military. And these were the most comfortable boots that you could wear in uniform at the time that I served. So when these came out, oh man, they were so hyped. But a lot of, uh, a lot of units and a lot of uh, different um, um, bases were actually banning soldiers from wearing these when they first came out. Because apparently they didn't meet regulations and eventually they got approved. And you could wear these in uniform. So the second you could wear these in uniform, I went and got a pair because I'm just a shoe guy like that. These are like holiday. crazy light. Like They're these crazy super light, light, super durable. Definitely um, not like a regular military boot. No, nothing <laughs> like it, especially not like an issue boot. Oh, but the one thing that was uh, ironic about these boots is that I couldn't wear them when I was in basic training. And uh, no, I got these after I got out of basic training. So scratch that. I could not wear these uh, in uniform because of my AFSC. Because of my actual job, it required steel toes, and these ain't steel toes. So I couldn't really wear them that much unless we were like, you know, doing like ceremony and stuff like that. So these actually didn't, these saw probably about 50% use in uniform and 50% use in civvy. So, <laughs> eh, gotta go. Uh, where are we going to next? So either these or your trail running, whichever ones you feel like talking about. Okay, so last two running shoes I'm getting rid of. This is technically a soccer boot. It is uh, called the Nike Gato. Really good shoe, really, really durable. I'm talking about super durable. Uh, speaking of my military days, I actually wore these when I went to basic training. 
Um, because you know you can't really take much stuff when you go out there. And I ran my fastest mile and a half in these shoes. I ran roughly, I believe it was like an 835 or 832 mile and a half in these shoes. Subsequently, out of that, um, when I got to my unit, my fastest time was a 918 mile and a half. So I got considerably older and slower. Um, these actually look like a really nice quality shoes. No, they're very, very durable. Like, like very I, I nice. used to, I used to play uh, at Georgia Tech uh, on the turf with these shoes, mm -hmm. and then I wore them in the military, and then I just stopped wearing them yeah, once I, mean, I get back. They from, look really, really uh, good. Yeah. But that brings us to the last and final shoe. You guys made it to the end this of the video, it. so you guys get a prize. You get to uh, well, subscribe. <laughs> No, but for real, we're going to start doing giveaways, you guys. We're working in the process of figuring out what are we doing and how we're going to do it. So just yes. stick around. Yeah, stick around for the prizes. But anyway, this is the last and final shoe of the shoe connoisseur because I'm not a sneakerhead. I am a shoe connoisseur. So, final shoe. This shoe is called the Innovate Trail Runner something or another. It's listed on the side of the shoe. It says... Trail, Trail Rock, Rock 235. 235. And it's 235. Guess why? Because it's 235 grams. Yes, this shoe is it's light. This shoe is so light. light. Yeah. You can throw it. You can toss it. It's a great shoe. It's very durable. And um, I used to run trails a lot um, back in the day. And my brother and I, rest in peace, used to love trail running. And this was the shoe that I did it in. It was an awesome shoe to do it in. If you're looking for a pair of shoes, no, no. if you're looking for a good pair of trail running shoes, look no further than the Innovate line of shoes they are great very durable these have lasted me a long time almost 10 years um i think that sums up my shoes yeah so that's probably his uh i gotta go through mine i know i don't know if i have any sneakers i'm gonna get rid of i think i have maybe a couple but i have a few high heel shoes that i need to get rid of and a couple of boots that i haven't worn in over two years and i start making myself follow this one rule if i haven't worn it for a year, it's got to go. Got to go. No matter what it is. I really have a tendency to cut it down to six months, but we live in, you know, climate where there's winter and summer. So sometimes that's not possible as far as going six months. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm going to go through mine and get rid of. Man, imagine if we lived in the UAE and we could just only have summer stuff. How easy it would be. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. Those kind of people are lucky to live in like a stable climate, unlike where we live, where it can be 80 degrees one day and 20 degrees the next, next day. day. All right, so I guess that's going to be a wrap for this video. Thank you for sticking through this video through us. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for all the love and support that y'all have been giving us. Uh, we really, really, really sincerely appreciate yes, it. Yes, we do. And, uh, yeah. But, yeah, like I said, stick around because we are figuring out our whole branding and um, try to do some giveaways and stuff like that. Yep. So we'll keep you posted on that one. Exactly. But... So, Care to Life, Care to Life with the Y. Um, this has been a show, not a show, this has been a vlog, <laughs> oh, no, a vlog about sneakers, and if I can keep one of these sneakers, it's gonna be these. So, later! I'm just glad I didn't get hit in the face or the foot on the way out. Bye, guys. Peace.